Hello all. So uh, I said I would post a video. Uh, that's the house right there behind all those trees. Uh, they're actually there for the materials right now. Uh, but at the same time, I wanted to point out that this is a SMP server. This is the house that my brother was working on, completely his own design. And that's him up on top of it. Uh, over here is the town that we've been restoring and basically working with. I don't know if anybody watches uh, Paul Sore's, uh videos or not, but this is the seed from his adventure with the jungles and the town and such. So this is just where we've been working. So yeah, uh, swamp, desert, desert, river, arctic, jungle, all visible from this location. So lots of uh, biomes, but uh, give you a quick little tour of the house. Uh, this is a Frank Lloyd Wright architectural house that uh, is up in Chicago. I built the uh, Lego model of it uh, yesterday with my brother. I think we did it in like two hours, three hours, something like that. And then I started transferring it into here. Uh, clearly I've taken some liberty with a couple of things, like these are actually supposed to be garages, but since I have no vehicles, they are not. Uh, I've done an obsidian on the outside wall. Uh, that was actually a pain in the ass. And I will very, very rarely ever build with obsidian ever again. <laughs> Uh, it's just some really neat uh, flow to the house. You know, I got uh, these sort of doors here, or the windows, uh, with this door leads into the uh, base level. And you can go out in the patio out front where my brother is right there. And this is just a nice big open house in here. Got some nice, uh, very tall windows here. Put in the staircase here, so this is slightly different than. Uh, the actual house, this would just normally end right here. Uh, but there's a little back patio I'll get to in a moment. But this just goes flat across. As you can see, there's no uh, no sort of uh, decorations or anything in the house as of yet. I want to put like bookshelves or maybe a brewing stand or something in the corners here. Uh, this is the garage, which I've uh, put in uh, my crafting area and my storage area. There's the brigade of buckets that actually help me do all the... Uh, the obsidian wall and such, uh, these doors, nice little switches on the way out, and this is actually just from my skin. Uh, these are tiled furnaces and stone floors, give it just a nice pattern on the floor here. So out this door, actually I'll go up the stairs first. So I'm not sure exactly how many levels the house actually has, but I was able to build it with uh, three, what the, <laughs> I was able to build it with uh, three. Um, I believe it only has two, but I couldn't get the things to line up properly with the balconies that are out here. And I really wanted to maintain use of them. So I ended up uh, putting in three uh, separate floors. And this was actually done, you can see that these are slabs. But they're slabs that I've stuck up on the top. So I can get some nice uh, space in here and this doesn't feel too cramped. Even though it's only like uh, three... Uh, three blocks high, it just it doesn't have that cramped feeling because slabs on the floor, slabs on the top part for the ceiling and then the same thing here is uh, slabs for the top part for the ceiling this is a little bit closer together as you can tell uh, but it still works pretty well uh, over here is actually a second entry staircase which I just I really liked from this house is I can come in this way to the bottom floor or I can go straight to the second floor uh, second floor also has the other balcony out the back, which looks over the little patio here. So this is all actually in the design. Um, I believe like the third floor and up is also what was traditionally part of the design. I think the second floor is what I've taken the liberty with. But uh, these all, all these windows and everything are actually part of the design of this house. And I, I am really interested to go seeing this house up in Chicago now. Maybe I'll... Uh, take a little trip there this summer and just take a peek at it. Uh, this is a bay window that my uh, brother designs his like this and I felt it fit in there really really well. I also have one over here uh, in my little bedroom area. One of the downsides is that um, because these are all slabs you can't place anything on them even though they're at the normal block level. So right here I've actually got uh, six little pieces of wood so I can use a bed there. Uh, this is something that I've added. This is uh, just a window that gives me access to the roof. This helps me with uh, the repairs and stuff like that, and every now and again spiders will get stuck out here and I have to go hunt them down. 
And then there's people hiding on the roof, waiting to jump on me. Uh, I, uh, as you saw inside, these are actually chimneys here, but I've repurposed them uh, to give me a nice uh, view out the back. Is The one thing that this house is missing is nice views in this direction, which just happen to be east with the way that I've laid the house out. Uh, overall though, very nice. So this is the other chimney that I've replaced into a bedroom and the uh, and the little viewing areas. This is the externals here. And now just uh, patio I believe is the last area to give you guys a tour of. Really like how that staircase came out. It took me a couple of tries though because I kept digging up my wall trying to make it one stair on top of another, but I like the little U-shaped. So this is the back patio. Uh, there's the interior of the house, and this just has a nice little view in these directions. Unfortunately, I have the same sort of problem as I can't put the torches on top of these slabs, uh, which is fairly frustrating. So for now, they just uh, reside back there. And just coming down here, little front patio. Uh, maybe do some lawn furniture or change this into gravel or something. Not really sure at this point in time. Uh, creepers really, really annoy me.